As of this past Sunday, at approximately 8.30 p.m., the Sheriff's Office Crime Scene Investigators, in collaboration with the FBI's Evidence Response Team, concluded the scene processing of the VTA bus yard. We now have additional information that helps illustrate the Sheriff's Office response and timeline of the events for this active shooter incident. What you are about to see is a body-worn camera footage from the very first contact team who developed a plan of action and made entry into the VTA yard in an attempt to locate the shooter in this incident. This team consisted of a sheriff's sergeant, a sheriff's deputy, and three San Jose police officers. What you are about to watch is a constant stream from the deputy on the contact team. The only redactions that are made are the identities of the San Jose police officers, the VTA employee, and ultimately the suspect. I must warn you that this video does contain some graphic footage. On Wednesday, May 26th, at 6.34, 51 seconds in the morning, County Communications received their first call for service on this incident. At 6.35, 31 seconds, County Communications dispatched deputies to the VTA yard. About two minutes and 15 seconds later, the first deputy arrived on scene. About 10 seconds later, the sheriff's sergeant arrived on scene. So at 6.38 and 14 seconds, the sheriff's deputies advised dispatch that they heard shots being fired. The sergeant immediately uh, formed a team to, uh, excuse me, formed a contact team to go into the VTA area. Upon making entry into the VTA bus yard, they start moving towards building A. They're moving towards the hot zone. A hot zone is an area where there's a direct and immediate threat that exists to the public. At 639.13, a VTA worker tells the sheriff's deputies that the suspect is armed with a handgun. The VTA worker goes on to state that, uh, that the suspect was last seen in building A. So at 639 and 50 seconds, the sheriff's deputy, sergeant, and the three San Jose officers develop a tactical plan and assemble their first contact team as they go into building A at the VTA bus yard. At 641.08, two shots are heard. The deputy on the contact team initially believes that those sounds were caused by the stepping of a metal roof that's on the floor. Uh, that was the metal flooring. At 641.32, both the deputy and the sergeant um, hold the exterior stairwell that leads to the third floor of building A, and the contact team obtained some additional cover because there was no active stimulus going on. Active stimulus is going to be people screaming, shots being heard. At 641.58, the contact team moves up the stairwell. Due to tactical considerations, the sheriff's deputy and sheriff's sergeants take the lead and move up the stairwell because they have patrol rifles issued to them. At 6.42 and 22 seconds, the contact team reaches the top of the stairs. One of the San Jose officers hears through his dispatch, through San Jose's PD's dispatch, that shots are still occurring. However, according to that BWC, we cannot hear shots fired at that time. The deputy acknowledges that he heard the San Jose officer, and he replies that the team has to move smart. All right, all right, all right we're good, we're good, we're good. We gotta take this smart. About 15 seconds later, 10, 15 seconds later, a VTA supervisor exits one of the doors at the top of the stairs. Back up, back up, back up. What do you got? I'm a supervisor. I was okay. just making communication. Okay, okay, come back. Here. Are you able to open that door for us? I am, sir. Okay. Give, give me your key card. Where's your key card at? Come behind me. Come Absolutely. Behind me. Behind me. We'll take it. Okay. This slide, this one. We need a key I card. Key. I have it. I'm going to push up together. Okay. This door, this door. Oh, this one's on your... Oh, hold it close. Do I go in there? Stand by, slow down. I'll swing it up for you guys, alright? I'm gonna swing it up, you ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm clear right. Come uh, yeah, with me. Clear, clear, clear. 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 Hold left, hold left. Hold it, we'll hold left. Okay, I'm... I'm clear right. As the contact team is moving through that dispatch center, one shot is heard. 
Another word for shot is stimulus. And you'll actually hear one of the officers say there's stimulus. And that shot is heard at 643.56. The team immediately recognizes the situation is still dynamic and they drive towards the area of the gunshot. At 644.06, two additional gunshots are heard as they approach the exit doors to the dispatch center. A bullet hole can be seen in the window frame of the left door while watching the video. Evidence shows that one gunshot went through the door into the direction of the contact team. The investigation also revealed that the suspect had two self-inflicted gunshot wounds, which proved to be fatal. At 644 and 15 seconds, a deputy advises through, through the doors that the contact team sees a person down. Three, ten, five, six, maybe. Let me see your hands. Hold right, hold right, hold right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got that stairwell. Sheriff's office, sheriff's I office, go, sheriff's I office. Need to this. Yep. Okay, he's in here. Ready? Right, right, blue. So, hold that, hold that. Watch his hand. Watch his hand. Be careful. Watch his hand. Watch his hand. Hold that stairwell. Stairwell, stairwell. Hold that stairwell. The contact team continues past uncleared areas and moves towards that person. Oh, the gun. That's the gun is there. At 644.51, the contact team observes a gun in the injured person's hand. The contact team has to ensure that the person down is still not a continued threat to them. Okay, stand by, stand by. Yep. Let's just clear it off. Yep. Hold this, hold this. Cover. I'm going to hold the body of the gun. You hold right under the door. I got it. I got it. Hey, I got somebody down here. Get the gun. Get the gun. Hey, can you hear me? That person is secured. It turns out to be the suspect. Once the suspect is secured, the officers continue searching for additional victims as they provide medical aid or to provide medical aid.